So basically, I wasted three weeks not editing this video, and I finally decided to a few days ago. I'm not gonna lie to you. And then when I actually went back and realized that it had been three weeks, um, my free trial on <laughs> Final Cut Pro had expired, and then I was stressed about trying to figure out how to get Final Cut Pro back. And then I figured out, um, we're not gonna talk about how I figured it out, but I figured it out. And then soon after realized that my whole editing for this video that I started was here. But the entire intro to this video had disappeared. So hey guys, what's up, what's up, what's up? I am back and better than ever. So basically today I am going to be talking about the pros and cons of private slash Catholic school and public school. There's a really, really big controversy between the two and I feel like I was just the perfect person to um, slide into the controversy and put a couple change, change, twos. You stupid. You know what I'm trying to say. I was gonna put my two cents into this business that I wanted to be in because I have experienced both. So yeah. Uh, I'm gonna shut up and let her talk because I can't even English right now. And she's better than me at English right now, so. I've done my research. I've seen videos all linked down below. I've had my experience and I feel like it is time put my two cents in this. I am sick and tired of seeing these videos that are just completely obliterating what Catholic versus public school is and just creating an even more, just a worse stereotype of the two. Because honestly, there really is no stereotype. Because honestly, you, you really get the best of both worlds and it just depends on where you go. So I'm gonna share with you the tea. So yeah, I've been to public school and and Catholic school. A lot of people don't know. I went to public school from pre-K to first grade. Um, yes, it was only three years of my life, but yes, I, I've seen a lot in those three years of my life and experienced a lot. And for the rest of my life, literally up until this point, I have been to Catholic slash private schools. And I've experienced both spectrums of private school slash Catholic school stereotypes. So I feel like I am just the perfect person to give a crisp two cents into this topic real quick. So let's let's get started. I have my handy dandy list right here that of course you can't see because you can't see it. And now I'm gonna start reading off of this list because it's gonna be great. Public school versus private school. Let's just uh, let's just get to it. The number one stereotype that I want to completely debunk right now is that private school is full of uppity rich kids that are just stuck up and they're spoiled and they think they're better than everybody and there's a better education and all this other wonderful, great, fantastic stuff. Ooh. No, that is a lie. That is the biggest lie I've ever seen in my life. Now, let me give you a little background. The best comparison I can give you is my middle school versus my high school. Now, yes, those are two completely different things, but these schools were in the exact same town, just um, different ends, you know, different, different classes, different people. You know what I'm saying? A lot of towns actually have, you know, their main town and then they have an upper version of it. My middle school was in the upper version, you know? And the upper version is just the prissy high-end version of the central part, you know? And that's exactly what the middle school was. Since this school is in the upper part of the town and most people that go to this school live in or around the upper part or at least live in a very well off area and then they just send their kids to this school so first of all this ain't cheap and to see how many people flex like keep in mind keep in mind this is like 2010 2011 and the flex at the time was like shorty got a blackberry she got on some vans maybe some moccasins oh 
This was the stereotypical private slash cactus school that you would see. You know, being me, you know, on the outside looking in, not being as spoiled as them. Even though I'm not on the um, uppity side, I was spoiled compared to a lot of people. Not that I had a Blackberry and some bands and moccasins, but I ooh, sure had the fake moccasins and fake bands from Payless. Now, like I said, this was the epitome of the stereotypical Catholic private school. But my high school, on the other hand, was the absolute complete opposite. My high school was so broke, but so expensive to go to. Like, how am I paying $30,000 a year for to steal my phone, steal my shoes, steal my money, like... Editing me here, I just realized all the things that I named are actually just things that I got myself into because I was careless. People can steal your phone and stuff everywhere. So, uh, learn from my mistakes. Baby girl, I don't get it. I didn't pay for this. My high school was the complete opposite of the stereotype of what a Catholic slash private school was. It was basically the stereotype you would get with a public school. But you paid for it. You see that? You see what I did there? You paid for the Ooh. education and Ooh. people and Ooh. teachers that you got at that school. Yep. Yep. It was more so like a flex to have money for food after school. <laughs> And I'm not joking. And at public schools, y'all be flexing at public school. <laughs> Apparently, it's a stereotype that people are nicer in private school. <clears throat> That's cute. Well, I'll be damned. The moment I went from public to private school is the exact moment I got bullied to the death of me. I had never been bullied from my pre-K to first grade year. But as soon as I made the switch in second grade to go to a Catholic private school, it was coming for me. Like, I was a target. I was fresh meat every single year, every single school. It didn't matter. This isn't even a stereotype. Uniforms versus non-uniforms. Let's just do it. Both are beneficial, but both suck. Ooh. On one hand, you know, public school, you have to pick out what you're gonna wear every day. Every single day, you have to pick out an outfit to wear. Now, on the other hand, a private school, you have to wear the same uncomfortable Ooh. uniform every single day. Public school, you get to express yourself through your clothes and your style and just do what you want with your outfits and stuff like that. Private school, you don't have to worry about trying to stand out because literally everyone is going to look the same. Picking out an outfit every single day, I've never had to do that for myself until I got to college, and that was probably the most stressful part of my day, picking out an outfit every day. I hated it, and that's when I started, you know, sweatpants, sweatshirts, and uh, random rinky-dink t-shirts were just kind of the move. But I feel like the uniform versus non-uniform both have benefits and they both kind of suck at the same time. So private schools, you have to have this specific uniform. You have to go to this specific uniform store, pay $60 for each item of clothing. Each item of clothing and I mean it. You have to pay $60 for your pants. It's like $40 for that rinky dink freaking polo that has the ironed on logo of the school. $60 for the sweater for in the winter time and yes, there is a uniform for every time of the year and if you're wearing the wrong thing during that time of the year <gasps> it sucks like even socks like god forbid yo wore some colorful socks under your pants and the teacher just so happened to see it <laughs> Detention. At some point in my high school, they made it mandatory for you to buy the uniform pants from the uniform store that were like $60 each. It was my senior year, right? I've had the same pants all four years. And this was the first time, like, my pants were, like, so ripped. One of them didn't even fit anymore, and I couldn't wear them. So you know what I did? I had to wear one of my mom's pair of khakis from H&M, walked into school. Those are the uniform pants. What is that? Called into the principal's office, and then they start making a big deal out of this every day. And then all of a sudden, it's mandatory to wear the uniform pants. I got like three months left to school, and I gotta go buy the <laughs> uniform pants for $60 that I'm only gonna wear for three months. And I'm probably not even gonna wear them all the time, because sometimes I wanna wear a guy's <laughs> skirt. <laughs> 
I remember one day they had every single class come to the principal's office one by one and if you were wearing pants you had to get your pants checked because there was a little logo how you would know if they were the actual uniform pants that were right underneath your belt and they'd have you turn around and if they didn't see it there then you automatically just got its attention and you had to go get the pants but like why is it that deep public school versus private school lunch there is a huge stereotype around that being that public school lunch is now almost unedible and private school lunches are like super fancy and super great that is the biggest lie I've ever seen in my life the only time my lunch was remotely fancy was when I was in my middle school that was you know upper you know upper that was the only time that a lunch was somewhat fancy and the fanciest it would get was like spaghetti that's it my years at the uppity private school was probably the best lunch besides public school that i've had because no other private school i went to including college including college had good lunch catholic school's lunches suck and yes i do include college because college food in general just sucks i feel like it's just private schools there have been non-private or non-catholic colleges i've visited and their lunches were like so great like the food there but the food at private schools is just like leaves a nasty taste in your mouth the best thing that i've had there was a bagel and that's no cap like on everything the best thing i've had at college was a bagel this was one that i got from a video that i saw and it pissed me off public schools don't have air conditioning or heat and private schools do <sighs> I have been to multiple public schools that have air conditioning and they have heat, you know? It be warm in there. Like, it really be warm as in there. I remember my freshman year of high school. It was the winter time and it was literally colder inside the building than it was outside. But it, it would be like maybe 40 degrees outside, you know, it's pretty cold. Inside, it literally, I mean, I this is like, I'm not even exaggerating this. It literally felt like it was negative 20 degrees in Inside. like we had to wear coats inside like it got so bad to the point like where we couldn't even get in trouble for wearing something outside of the uniform because we probably wouldn't last throughout the day if we didn't editing me here it actually got so bad to the point where they had to close school like we were not allowed to be in school because it was that cold in the building but hey three days off Woo. Honestly, most Catholic schools are broken. The archdiocese, the Catholic churches have the biggest scandals with people stealing from them and the priests stealing from them. They're broke. That's just that. And there's no money to go around to all these Catholic schools, so gotta pick and choose sometimes, sis. But there was no heat. And when it got hot, there was no AC. We had fans. And I mean, like, the cheapest, like, dollar store stand up fans that didn't even do anything i don't even want to think about it honestly a lot of public schools have it way better than private schools do sis because them schools are underfunded there is a very large stereotype that public schools are generally more dirty than private schools that's also a very big lie most of the public schools that i've been to and not just like attended i mean like visited very frequently like the public school in the town of my high school and the town of my middle school they're very fucking clean they have multiple people on the cleaning staff at my high school there was literally like there was one maintenance guy cleaning guy that did almost everything and like one cleaning lady there was literally almost never soap in the dispensers almost never paper towels like i said underfunded public schools they have outdated computers and private schools are up to date on the technology now this was another one that i got from a video that i saw and the girl was like yeah i went to a private school and they were like basically handing out ipads to everybody and they had all the latest imacs and the computer labs and all this great stuff and the public school that i went to they had these dells that were like from 2002 
What? Now, I do get it. There are some Catholic schools that do be handing out like iPads and Ooh. with your Ooh. intuition. They have iMac labs everywhere. I was gonna go to a high school like that, but it was extremely expensive. I mean, of course, they snuck it into the tuition somewhere as an iPad fee, but like, I don't care. I want an iPad. Even the uppity private school that I went to for middle school, those computers were the most outdated that I've seen. In my high school, there was a computer lab. They were, you know, a, a little new, like nothing fancy. I know fucking Max. No, we can't afford Max. Don't do that. There were some like kind of new Dells, you know? It was a little better. That was the one thing they did okay with. Don't even get me started on the Chromebooks. When they started handing out them Chromebooks with that $300 Chromebook fee that no one got back. Literally no one got the Chromebook fee back. Like I literally, I never got my Chromebook fee back. So, um... Run me my check. And my last one, less sports. Um... And that goes for public schools. A lot of people think that public schools have less sports. There are very few public schools I can think of that doesn't have every sport. Because my Catholic schools that I went to, and I mean every single Catholic school I went to, had like three or four sports. You know, basketball, women's and men's basketball. My high school had football, you know, almost, almost got rid of that program because people didn't care about football, volleyball, and uh, track and field. But yeah, that's a lie. Um, Catholic schools don't always have have all sports because I haven't seen a Catholic school that does have all the sports. Like even my college that I went to, they had like three sports that people cared about and everything else was like a club. And most schools, they will lie to you about the activities that they have at the moment. They'll be like, yes, we have this program and we have this and then we have this. And then you go to the school expecting all these great things that they said that they had. And then you realize that they only have two of them. And one of them isn't even starting for the next two years. So that's that. There's the tea. I did put up a poll earlier today asking people to tell me some differences that they noticed between public school and private schools. And uh, so let's uh, let's just check that. <laughs> the first one I got is that public school is funded by the government and private school isn't. Hence why you have to pay. Yes, public school is funded by the government and private school is funded by no one except for the broke Ooh. archdiocese that is broke. They go through a crisis like every Ooh. year. They have to shut down so many many schools like every freaking year next <laughs> public school girls are dirty <laughs> public school girls are dirty <laughs> um i disagree yes there are some dirty girls i mean if you want to spill the tea <laughs> private school girls are disgusting disgusting literally and you know what that's a whole nother video of my personal pet peeves not just the differences but my personal pet peeves about private school that's a whole nother that's a whole nother video the next one no difference private school is just a upper class ghetto. I've never heard something so true in my life, girl. Public, fire emoji. I mean, go off, sis, I guess, you know? Hey, I'm more hyped that you responded to my, uh, my, my, my thing. <laughs> hey, editing me here. Literally right after I finished recording this video, like five other people responded and they were literally hilarious. So I'm just gonna read them all for you right now. The next one says, public school, drugs sold in classrooms. Private school, drugs sold in bathrooms. <laughs> you know, I wouldn't know about any drug trades going on, but um, some wild things have gone down in bathrooms, I'll tell you that, in private school for that matter. People swear us private school kids are so bougie. Yes, that is the exact purpose of this entire video because it's ridiculous what people assume about private school. This one got deep. Funding differences, graduation rates, and depending on the location, the motivation to finish. It's very true nonetheless. It is very true. A lot of people lose motivation to finish because they feel like, you know, what else is there, you know? I mean, I feel like everyone, I mean, I feel like everyone really loses motivation to finish considering that it's literally hell. I mean, that's just, that's just me yeah back to her but yeah that is it for this video i hope you guys enjoyed and if you guys have any pet peeves or things that you disagreed with in this video comment down below i'd love to know and also comment down below if you prefer private school slash catholic school or public school i honestly want to know and what was your favorite and least favorite part about it let me know in the comments below and give this video a big fat freaking thumbs up and share it with everyone i can't spin in a circle okay everyone you know and i'll see you guys in the next video <laughs> bye <laughs>